Hey everybody, Adam back with another over drinking it. Today in in the daylight, no less. Look at that. It's not like squinting in the dark to see what's going on anymore. Very exciting. Um, although I'm sure we'll get back to filming in the dark or something like that's that's kind of my thing. That's my bread and butter, I guess. Do I have a bread and butter? I don't need bread or butter. But what I do have is Coca-Cola with coffee. Now I'm not a big coffee fan. We've talked about this in the past. Coffee's not really my thing. But this is the closest I think I'm ever going to get to, like, the Coca-Cola with the real cocaine in it. And I thought I wanted to try it out, you see. Like, they they want to put cocaine back in it. They do. They're never going to admit that, but they do. That's something they want. Um, and they're not going to get it. This was the closest they could get. Um, so we're going to give it a shot and see what, uh, what that might have been like. I went with the dark blend one. Um, there's like a bunch of different ones. Uh, this was the one that was cold in the cooler whenever I went. So I was like, Ugh. that's what I'll go with. Um, there's like a vanilla one and a caramel one. And there's all kinds of crazy stuff. Just smells like Coca-Cola. Maybe a little bit of the coffee in the smell there. Yeah, mostly just coke, but I was also spraying bleach earlier, so like I may not be able to actually smell anything. I might have burnt that all out, out. But regardless, it smells like coke, so we're I'm gonna hope that it's more coke than it is coffee, and we'll go from there. Okay, enough delaying the inevitable. That's surprisingly okay. Yeah, you definitely get the, uh, put this in the camera, put the camera there, that way maybe I'll get a sponsorship from the Coke people or something, I'm just saying, if you want to throw a little money my way, I'd be alright with that. Um, you definitely get the coffee, it's definitely in there, um, but it's not like beating you over the head, it's a very subtle flavor back behind it. I could see like the vanilla and the caramel and that kind of stuff really, um, you know, being able to balance that out a little bit better and uh kind of adding quite a bit to it again the coffee is good it's fine it's um it's not my favorite i won't buy it again probably um but that's just because i'm not a coffee fan um but all, overall it's a pretty good little drink there i mean for being what it is um the caffeine content obviously higher the sugar content higher because of the coffee mixture in it um it's not just straight coffee it's like slightly sugared coffee even dark blend i feel like is going to be um still has like the sugar added to the coffee but all in all pretty good pour i like it well enough yeah i'll definitely finish this one uh, but again you know if you're a coffee fan i could see this really going over well um something really kind of be a pick me up in the morning if you don't want to do like the energy drinks and that kind of stuff this i think would balance kind of in between you know, the soda is not going to get you there, but the energy drink is like too much. Um, this, I think, would be a happy medium. So um, definitely, if you're a coffee fan, check it out. If you're not a coffee fan, I would still recommend checking it out because, it, again, it's pretty good. It's a pretty interesting taste, pretty interesting flavor to it. The coffee is subtle. There's a lot going on in there. Um, I enjoyed it quite a lot. But, again, I won't buy it again just because coffee is not my thing. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all next time.